Hi guys, today I'm here with the next part of my makeup declutter series. I have done primers and foundation so far, so now we are on to concealers. I will link to my other declutter videos down below. I'm gonna go ahead and get started and not blab on because we've got some work to do. Getting started with e.l.f. This is their mineral concealer. It's a powder. Doesn't have like a ton of coverage. I would never use it just on its own, but I love it to set my under eye. This is the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Concealer. Um, I gotta say I'm pretty disappointed with this one, but it's got a ton of product in here. It's 0.6 fluid ounces, so that's like half the size of foundation. It's an okay concealer for mixing, so I'm gonna hold on to it. CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. This sucks. That's pretty much all I can say about it. It's super watery. I really don't like it. I love the powder and the foundation from the Ready Set Gorgeous line, but I really don't like this, so it's gonna go. These are the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC30 and NC42. I should have gotten NC35 for my under eye. This is a little bit too light, but I do really, really like it. And then NC42 is uh, for covering up blemishes, and these are really, really great full coverage concealers. The only thing that's annoying is the package, but I really like them. From Joe, this is a Canadian brand. This is kind of a good double-ended concealer. Uh, this is in the shade medium, I think. It's su super light for me, but I do like it for highlighting, and I love this for kind of going under my brow, so I'm going to keep it. From Clarins, this is their Instant Concealer. I really, really like this. Uh, great for the under eye, lots of product, uh, so I'm going to be holding on to it. I'll leave all the shades and colors down below, by the way. Didn't realize how grubby some of my makeup looks till I started doing this declutter series. This is the Lasting Perfection Concealer. It's from Collection. It's a brand of the UK. Got it out of my swap with Leslie X, which I will link to over here. I really, really like this, and I'm going to be keeping it. From Tarte, this is their Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. This is in the shade Tan. I really like this, really full coverage, uh, and it's a great concealer. I'm going to be keeping it. This is super old. It's from Maybelline, the Dream Mousse Concealer. I really do not like the texture of this. You can see it's just weird and old. I was trying to use it as an eye primer, but I have eye primers that I like, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. From NYX, their HD Concealer. You know I love this. You know I'm keeping it. This is the concealer in a jar from NYX. I bought it in a deeper shade to contour with, but it's just too thick um, and not easily blendable enough, so I'm going to be get ri getting rid of it. This is a deluxe size sample, which is actually a fair size of the Benefit Erase Paste. I like it, and I'm keeping it. Great for uh, concealing or kind of correcting any darkness under the eyes. From Maybelline, this is one of their newer concealers, the Master Conceal. I got this in the shade Medium Deep. I thought it was medium, so it's a little bit too deep for me, but I do like to mix it with my lighter concealers. It gives good coverage, and I'm going to be keeping it. This is from Coastal Sense. This is their Bright Eyed. It's kind of like a corrector. You can see it's a really light color. It's in the shade Light, and this is the kind of thing that I like to mix with my concealers that are too deep, so I'm going to be holding on to it. I really like it. From Hard Candy, this is their Glamouflage Concealer and then the little pencil that came with it. I'm gonna be getting rid of it. It is super thick, super heavy duty, like it's exactly what they say, but I've just had it for way too long and I find it starting to get a little bit separated. Um, but I do like it, great option from the drugstore that's gonna last you forever. From Becca, this is like their dual coverage concealer, super cool, comes with like uh, a medium coverage and an extra coverage. I like this for covering up acne. I'm not sure if it's discontinued. I got it at Winners, which is the Canadian version of TJ Maxx, but I like it and I'm keeping it. From IT Cosmetics, this is their Bye Bye Under Eye Hardcore Concealer. I like it and it's staying. LA Girl Pro Concealer, this is a fabulous option from the drugstore. Kind of hard to get your hands on in Canada, but I really love it for highlighting. I want to get a, a deeper shade for contouring. It seems to be really popular, and it's got a great little brush uh, applicator, which makes it really nice for like um, kind of brushing on your face for contouring and for highlighting, so I really like it. From L'Oreal, this is their True Match Concealer. As you can see, it's like kind of dried up and falling out. I saw so many people using this under their eyes in videos, and it would be okay for contouring or for highlighting, but I don't, I find it just too dry to go under my eyes, so I'm gonna be getting rid of it. From Maybelline, this is their Fit Me Concealer. I do really like this. I don't think it's like as amazing as everyone says it is. In my personal opinion, I like the NYX HD better, but it is nice, so I'm gonna keep it. From MAC, this is their Studio Fix Concealer. I love this. I've just had it for way too long. It's in the shade NC35. So sadly, I'm gonna be getting rid of it, but there's nothing wrong with it besides the fact that it's like four years old. 
Don't forget when you use up MAC products, you can keep the packages. When you have six of them, you can back to MAC them. So uh, you can get a free lipstick or an eyeshadow. So anything besides lip liners, you can hold on to and bring back for a free product. From Maybelline, this is their Dream Lumi Concealer. I mentioned this in my products I regret buying. I'm just realizing now that it's like almost empty and I've barely used it because I hate it. So uh, this is going. From NYX, this is their incredible waterproof concealer. I like this for covering blemishes. It's nice and small and it's kind of the color of my skin, so I'm going to be keeping it. This is the Time Bomb Concealer from The Bomb, a really thick concealer similar to the MAC Studio Fix. I like this on my eyelids as a primer. I like it to cover up blemishes and then if you use it under your eyes, I suggest a beauty blender because it is such a thick, creamy product, but I do like it and I'm going to keep it. So this is what's staying, this is what's going. I didn't do as well as I had hoped, but I'm just proud that I'm getting rid of this MAC concealer just because I love it and, but I just, it's way too old so it's gotta go. So these are all the concealers that are going and then this is what I'm gonna hold on to. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below what declutter series you would like to see next. And if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at SamanthaJaneYT and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.